Hello everyone. For today's video, I'm going to be doing one of these foam grips. I'll put in the description where you can get them if you'd like to get some to make. Um, I'm going to be using regular acrylics on this. If you're not going to resin over this or anything, you really need to use multi-surface so it cures onto this plastic. But because I'm resining over, I'm only going to use the regular acrylics on this. And I'll be posting in the next day or two a resin tutorial on how I did that. But if you're in a hurry, there is another pop socket tutorial a while back that has some resin in it where I took um, hot glue around the edges to keep it from running down. But I prefer to use the tape now, so I'll be showing that method in the next day or two. So, here we go. I'm going to do a spiral pattern, I think, for this one. And we'll start out with... Oh, let's go with the 8. And I'm going to use this warm white color. And I have a real hard time doing... These are an inch and a half in diameter. And I just eyeball it. But a lot of times I end up off center. But I should do... And what I am going to do right now, just to show you guys. Let me wipe that off. This is an inch and a half in diameter. But... I'm going to get a piece of paper. So not to get off center like I have been. My last one was off center. So let's do it this way. I'm going to measure and just make a square an inch and a half. Okay, so I just made this an inch and a half by an inch and a half. I'm going to cut it out. So there's my inch and a half by an inch and a half. Now I'm going to fold this. Both directions to get my center point. Okay, and then I'm just going to poke through that. Right at that center. Alright. Now I just have a little hole right there. Now this should be an inch and a half. So I'm going to just center it on here. Center it on the paper. And I'm going to cut it out. Okay, so that I'll just keep as a template. And what I'm going to do is put it right over the top of this. It's a little bit bigger, but just center it. That's kind of accurate. And then hold it. And I'm just going to use a downing tool, and I'm going to stick paint right through it. And then I have a little smudge right in the center point. So I know that that's going to be accurate. Okay, so now I'm going to go with the number 8 and I'm going to put a dot there. That was with warm white. And now I'm going to go to the number 3. And I've got purple pizzazz. Now I'm going to do a swirl pattern. So I'm going to do four dots to start. Top, bottom, and left and right with the number three. 
And then still with the number three, I'm gonna to go to this orange flame and I'm going to do four more dots. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to the number four. You just go up a row each time going around and you just need to make sure you still keep going the same direction. So I'm gonna go and put a number four orange dot right there. So this orange one's on the top, the purple one's on the bottom. So now this one would do purple because purple's on the top. So we're gonna skip and go to the next orange and do that all the way around. And now I'm gonna go with the same number four and the purple and do the next dots. Okay, now I'm gonna go up to the next tool, which is the number five. And I'll do the orange dots first. So just make sure the orange is on the top. And now I'll switch to the purple with the number five again. Okay, now I'm gonna move up to the number six and I'm gonna make sure my orange dot's on top. Okay, now I'm moving on to the purple, again with the number six. Now on to the number seven. And I'll do the orange ones first. And then on to the purple. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna leave that for the swirl. I'm gonna go up to the number eight, and I'm gonna do a row of the warm white dots around that. And then I'm gonna go to the number number five, and I'm gonna do those in white too. And this every other one. So that's what we have so far. And I think I'm gonna top dot a lighter color on the oranges and on the purples, and then maybe top dot yellow on those white ones. I gotta let it dry for a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to dot the orange ones with this tangerine color. And I'm just gonna walk them with the number three. So I'm just gonna start out on this biggest one. Now walk it all the way down. Now I'm gonna go in with the purple, which is this Lilac Meadow, and I'm going to go with the number three again, do the same thing on the purples. And I'm going to go with the number four on those bigger ones, bigger white dots with this primary yellow. And I'm gonna dot that middle one as well. And that's it for that one. So remember to watch out for the video on resining. It'll be coming up in a day or two. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.